All right. Hello, everyone. The module four final project is already upon us. Um, let's just first take a look at the timeline where we are at. Um, and <laughs> so this is project three. It's from mod four, though. Um, if you remember, we did not have a project in module two. Um, so um, we'll be working on this project for two weeks. It is due on the 28th of October. Um, and then the hard deadline is it is due uh, November 11th, 11-11. So you need to submit by November 11th to complete this project on time. Um, this project is going to be, uh, you're gonna be using uh, time series. So a lot of what you learned in um, section 31 and 32. Um, so again, uh, kind of similar to what we did on the first project, um, we're going to be, this time we're going to be forecasting real estate prices of various zip codes, uh, using data from Zillow. Um, you're not just going to be running a single time series analysis. You're going to be doing a ton of time series analysis. So, um, be aware of that. Um, so you're going to be working as a consultant for a fictional real estate investment firm. The firm has asked you what seems like a simple question. What are the top five zip codes uh, for us to invest in? So um, kind of use this as kind of a framing point. So when you are building your PowerPoint, remember you're a consultant for a fictional real estate investment firm. So uh, try, try to think of uh, presenting in a way that you're a, a, a consultant. Uh, this may seem like a simple question at first, but there's more than a little in, 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 uh, ambiguity uh, here, but you'll have to think through in order to provide a solid recommendation. Should your recommendations be focused on profit margins only? What about risk? What sort of time horizons are you predicting against? Your recommendation will need to detail your rationale and answer any sort of lingering questions like these in order to demonstrate how you define best. So these are all things you need to come up with. Uh, there's more than one right answer on this. Um, what I'm really looking for is how do you explain how you came up with your, your decision? Um, you're gonna be working with Zillow uh, uh, data. Um, so they uh, made a data set for you and they came up with a little starter notebook. Um, so, and let's take a look at our, what our data is. And yeah, dfulp.read.csv. So we have um, uh, mul multiple, uh, I believe region name is zip code. Um, and No, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Um, um, region name. Oh, actually, I think region ID is. I don't. I, I don't know. Um. Um, I want to do a filter by region name and in unique. So there's 14,000. This is, I don't remember what, which is zip codes. Um, we're going to need to take a look at this. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Um, zip codes. Let's do this. So yeah, Chicago. So it looks like region, um, region name is um, the uh, is zip codes. And let's just do another sanity check. Seventy five oh seventy. Yeah, McKinney, Texas. So yeah, um, there's fourteen thousand different zip codes. So you need to kind of make a decision on 
um, how you were going to handle all those zip codes. Um, yeah. And 14,723 rows, uh, which makes sense. So each, each uh, row is a different zip code. The goal of the project is you have to complete a very common real world test in regards to time series modeling. However, real world problems often come, come with a significant degree of ambiguity, uh, which requires you to use your knowledge of statistics and data science to think critically about an answer. While the main task in this project is time series modeling, that isn't your overall goal. Uh, it's important to understand that time series modeling is a tool in your toolbox and the forecast that provide you uh, what you'll use to answer important questions. In short, to pass this project, demonstrating the quality and thoughtfulness of your overall recommendation is at least as important as successfully building a time series model. Yeah, so it's, it's, I think this is something that a lot of data scientists struggle with is they can do some really, really, really interesting analysis, but if you can't turn that analysis into insights, nothing's ever gonna come out of that amazing analysis that you did, so. Um, it, it's, it's cool if you're able to do some really cool time series and a bunch of for loops, but um, it, it, it's not going to really matter if, um, um, if, you, if you aren't able to like explain the actual results. So, so you have to have four, there's four deliverables for this project, a Jupyter notebook. Um, I like to see you have a Jupyter notebook that if you aren't there, there's enough comments and markdown that someone would be able to follow along with it. A readme um, explaining everything that you did kind of in your project, what all the different files in your repo are, just an overview of your uh, project, a blog post, and then the executive summary. And it should be between five and 10 minutes. Um, the uh, rubric for project three is right here. Um, so on the home page, so some Jupyter notebook must haves. Um, so we'll want to see kind of your process, how you clean the data, and then your process for uh, building your models. Um, I really like including markdown cells. I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, and it, it just makes things a little bit easier to read, much easier to follow along with. Um, and time, this is another important thing, uh, data visualizations, time series can be really, really cool looking plots. Uh, take the time to make sure that your labels are nice and clean. Sometimes uh, the date formats can be a little hard to read. Try to take some time to clean that up. And, um, so findings, um, I, th I think your notebook should include that. Um, um, I, I think at least just like an overall like summary at the end, kind of explaining your results and why you came up with the best. Um, and yeah, this is a big thing. Any findings worth mentioning in this problem are probably also worth visualizing. So um, take the time to make a, a nice looking plot. Um, why can't we see this? Yeah, so this is that graph. There's way too much going on in this graph. So don't, um, don't, don't make this graph. <laughs> and it should be between your summary, five to 10 slides. Um, take more no more than five minutes to present should be five to ten minutes um, avoid technical jargon so practice uh, practice your presentation with someone um, that doesn't have a technical background um, educational coaches are um, I've been giving I've been uh, hearing they've been giving great feedback so um, um, yeah yeah feel free to present with uh, Miriam um, she's a really really good person to present to um, but yeah, um, so kind of looking at this uh, notebook, um, this is the GitHub repo, and you'll see there is a mod for starter notebook. Um, this data set is really, really nasty. So um, there's some, some, something to take note of is there's a wide format versus long format. So this data right now is in wide format. 
um, where it's um, there's 272 uh, columns. Uh, we want it where each, uh, where typically with a time series, you want the um, time index to be in the index. So you'll need to convert that to a long format. Um, so um, they give you a function to kind of help you do that. And um, so keep, keep, you'll probably want to try to take advantage of this. You can also do, um, however, uh, another way, but uh, this is pr a pretty good way to do it. Um, and you'll notice that these right now are not uh, date time, so they give you an option of uh, converting uh, this into like a date time format. So they give you this notebook, do take advantage of it uh, because it, it is very helpful. Um, but the, I think the key thing on this project, one, it's gonna take some cleaning before you can put it in a ARIMA model or you could potentially use Facebook profit, uh, which is another time series analysis. But the main insight is how do you define best and how do you, how do you interpret the results of your work? So um, that's what I have. Um, best of luck to everyone. And I'm really looking to so forward to seeing what, how, what everyone comes up with on this project. Um, have, a, have a great rest of the night, everyone. Bye.